And only on King 5, you're getting an exclusive look at a new hybrid electric Washington State Ferry. This model here includes new charging units that will be part of an all-new fleet moving forward. King 5's Farah Jadrin is live on the Fauntleroy Southworth Ferry route with this exclusive on plans for the new boats. As we know, Farah, one of the biggest complaints for riders is delays and cancellations because of, well, for many reasons. How would the new boats change that? Well, Mimi and Jake, new hybrid electric boats are going to offer more options on moving people and also cars across the water. State ferry leaders told me the fleet will be the most reliable it's ever been. Westbound, Edmonds to Kingston. Daily boat delays or sailing cancellation alerts like these can cause a lot of headaches for ferry riders, especially islanders. And the ferries. They're doing their best, but they're really behind sometimes. We know that we're not meeting expectations right now. There's no other way off Vashon Island. Until this rider sees big changes from Washington State Ferries, he's ditching his car and taking the foot ferry, the King County Water Taxi. It cuts my commute time in half. I sat down with the head of Washington State Ferries, Steve Nevy, who says those concerns are top of mind. We do have plans in place to get there. It's just going to take time and patience. The 75-year-old ferry system is sailing into the future of electrification. You might be wondering, why now and not years ago like other ferry systems around the world? Nevy says there are a few reasons. We're able to learn from mistakes they made and, and things that they're doing to make sure that we're doing the right thing. I think the other thing is the technology evolves. This is part of evolving technology. These are new images from WSF you're seeing first on King 5. New hybrid electric boats will have charging receptacles shown as green cubicles on the upper bridge deck. Open air passenger lounges below each pilot house will provide about 50 seats per end. The new boats will be bigger, which means more room for vehicles on board. The bulk of new technology will be below deck. Two diesel engines and and two battery banks will power two electric motors on each end. In addition to making us greener, it grows our fleet to provide the level of service that we need to deliver to the customers. By the end of this year, State Ferries Electrification Program Administrator Matt Von Ruden says WSF will know the number of builders they'll have for the new fleet. And then contract awards will go out at the start of 2025. About a year after that, we would start construction and we plan to have the first vessels, hopefully two vessels on the water in 2028. The plan is to have two more hybrid electric vessels on the water in 2029 and a fifth one in 2030. The first two boats will be on the clinton Teal route. The second two will sail the Seattle-Bremerton route. The fifth ferry will serve as the first hybrid electric backup boat. The fleet will eventually grow from 21 to 26 total boats. Six current ferries will be converted while 16 new boats are built. Von Ruden says running hybrid electric boats versus fully electric vessels is the best option, providing three modes of operation. In battery only mode, where we hope to operate most of the time, um, it'll be simple bringing power from the electrical grid, charging the batteries and operating them in battery only mode. In hybrid electric mode, the batteries and the engines work together. There will also be a backup diesel mode. Von Ruden says the new boats will transform ferry reliability. The average age of the boats on the current fleet is about 40 years old. The expectation is to keep a vessel in service for 60 years. The same will go for each new hybrid electric ferry. So far, looking at the pictures of these new ferries, they don't look a whole lot different than the old ones. What's the biggest difference? Well, Mimi, right now on the Kittitas, you can feel a constant vibration and it's a bit noisy. So on these new hybrid electrics, uh, Washington State Ferry leaders say it's going to be quieter and more of a smooth ride, not just for ferry riders, but also their staff. In addition, that uh, vibration and that noise, it also goes underwater. So that underwater noise and vibration will be reduced, which will actually be a benefit to orcas, whales and other marine life.